Welcome. Now for today's lesson, the day in the life of, I'm going to be teaching you how to factory reset a Acer laptop if you're planning on selling it or you forget your password. Now, before we move on to that tour, I want you to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and hit the like button. Um, let's go on the journey. Now, here I am my laptop. There are many ways to do this, but this way that I'm gonna show you today is one of the easiest and simplest way. Um, wanna log in, try to log in to show you the password. There you go, there's a password on it. I don't know the pin, but what I'm going to do is wanna hit the shift key, then, I'm going to scroll over to the turn off button. Here you got to let me get the focus. Hit the turn off button. Hit restart. Restart anyway. While it's restarting, just keep holding the shift key. Voila. Now you're on a good screen that allows you to navigate to where we need to go. After moving into reset this PC in the troubleshoot menu, you click enter. Then you can either choose to keep files or remove everything. If you're going to sell the laptop, this is what you do, you remove everything. If you're planning on keeping the laptop and it's not performing well or it's not working properly, or it's moving slow, virus, or whatever reason, you will keep the files. But because I'm not going to be keeping the laptop, you will remove everything. Now, after it rebooted, came to this screen where it said reset this PC. You have two, a couple of options where you can download and reinstall from the cloud or local installation. We will be doing the local reinstall. Hit enter. Now, this process can take some time. Okay. Now, this is also another important part where you say just remove my files and keep the pc or you do a full clean you can do do the just remove my files and keep the pc if you, you're keeping the pc and it's just performing a bit slow or you just plan to give it to a cousin or a friend but if you want to make sure that everything is off you go right down full clean this process takes a lot longer so if you have time you use a full clean. If you don't have the time, just click, just remove my files. We will be doing the full clean. So I will pause in the video at this time because it will be taking some time. I'll see you at the end of this. As you can see, this process is still resetting and it's at 8%, 9% going. That allowed it to reach 100%. And then I'll check back in. It took a while, but we're at this screen. Now here we'll select our country region and click yes. I'm selecting the United States. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. The keyboard um, meaning where we have the at symbol. If you see the keyboard layer, it's a creative keyboard layout, and the ad symbol is at number two. So that's a US style. If it was the UK, the ad symbol would be at a different spot. Most likely here. So we'll click yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? I don't want to use another keyboard layout, so I'll just click skip. Now let's get you connected to a network. Now I'll see that you. Way, you after I finish After I finish all of this, I'll see you at the next page. I won't be installing the Wi-Fi right now. Don't have an internet. Just so you know, 
Connecting to a network now can save you some time later. Skip. Well, no, I won't be Next connecting step, to the internet now. In short, this is the legal stuff. You have to click accept to go through or to go past it. So, if you don't click accept, you can't use it. Once you're here, you're basically finished. Just put in your username, the person on the using the machine, and you're, you're through. After doing all the legal stuff, this is the screen that you end up on. So, just wait for it to complete, and then you have successfully resetted your factory set your Acer laptop to its default. Enjoy!